Peace and blessings. I pray that you are having a great Sunday wherever you may be. My heart goes out to the children in Philistine and Palestine around the world. I pray for peace. I pray for peace. I pray for peace. I tell you, when I was growing up, hip hop was a call to activism, a call to justice, fight the power, public enemy. So many great artists from the X Clan. Um, just so many great artists. And no disrespect to hip hop's transition in different directions, but I have my own views on that and why I think a lot of it was planned. Well, I have my discussions and my information. I'd love to do a show on that. But today, we are going to the East. To the East, my brother, to the East, as the X Clan used to say. We're going to do a reaction to MC. Abdul, let it rain. I came across the first video that had the images. And I'll be honest, I clicked and watched it, right? And I cried like a baby to see what is happening to these babies. And I feel weak as a man to sit in the comfort of my home. So I applaud you and those of you that are fighting for justice for the Palestinian people. We must speak up against ills wherever it is, regardless if it goes against ourselves, our comfort, our wealth, our family. The good book, generally when I say the good book, most people that know me think I'm referring to the Bible, but this time I'm referring to the Quran. The good book says, speak out against injustice even if it be against yourselves. Some translations are speak out against oppressions, oppression, even if it be against yourselves. It means stand for the hawk, stand for the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, man, I need to get this brother on the show. Tell me where can I reach him, his manager. I'm praying for his family. MC Abdul, let it rain. Oh my God, the Fugees, Lauren Hill, ready or not. Born under siege, a place where you can't leave. Smoke's in the air, so it makes it hard to breathe. I need my family, protect them from the disease. I went to chase my dreams, hoping that they rescue me. Made it out the maze, God's been blessing me. First time in LA, got God's next to me. It's in my heart, it's in my veins. I've been smiling at the pain. Wait, 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 wait. Somebody said in the comments that he's in LA. He made it out of Gaza. I need to do a little research. I'm sure he has an agent or a manager. First of all, I'm happy that he's in L.A. I'm sad for his family that's still there. Let's keep going. The bombs lit up the night sky and turn them into day. It's hard to come up with the right rhymes. I don't know what to say. I start to cry when I write mine. It happens every day. A lot of death in my lifetime. All I do is pray. This is my story from the sideline. This life is not a game. I want to call my mama. I hope she charge the phone. Hope my brother's not alone. Hope that one day they'll be grown. This is genocide. But this time it is televised. Don't believe all that you see. You see. Listen, he's right. This is genocide. Nothing short of it. It is genocide. Nothing short of it. I don't understand how people can be so cruel. I hear people like Senator Lindsey Graham just bomb them. So many white men, their their rhetoric and their anger expose their truth. Just bomb them? You know what kind of punk you have to be to say just bomb them? Bomb them all like these ain't babies? Whatever happened to the military operations where you go in and you get the enemies, right? You go in and get the enemies. And I personally have my own opinion on October 7th. If what really happened to Israeli citizens, if that really happened, right, it is sad. It is evil. And anybody of the Islamic faith that believes in Islam would condemn that, right? The action of terror, regardless of what side is on. However, me being a practical person, with the Mossad, the IDF, all these trained um, killers or intelligent agencies and armies, the best, some of the best in the world, so they claim. It's like America, America's 9-11, which I know was an inside job, right? It's an inside job. 
And okay, let's take Israel's position and America's position, and these attacks really happened. Come on, man. You guys claim to want to beef with China and Russia? Y'all ain't ready. So the moral of the story is don't believe the hype. Do you hear what he said? Don't believe the hype. MC Abdul, man, you are definitely, definitely uh, a member of the hip-hop community. There'll be some that say he's a culture vulture because hip-hop started in the Bronx with blacks and Latinos. But hip-hop, let me tell you, is a universal language of struggle. A lot of times it was rocking during the time of the Prophet Muhammad or the... Uh, the time of Isa, alayhi salatu salam, the time of these people, poetry was the voice of justice, the call to justice, the call to act. Hip-hop in America may have lost that. There are a lot of grassroots individuals that rap about consciousness and the appeal for justice, but hip-hop is global now. Definitely not a culture vulture. He is a member of the hip-hop community. And listen, what do you know about his knowledge, man? This young brother isn't rapping over uh, drill beats. He's rapping over revolutionary songs. Let's go. Because they be telling lies. I call my blessings, not the problems. From the bottom where the robbers acting violent, killing toddlers, bombing us with helicopters. They see me on that TV and they calling me the monster that only Whoa. makes me strong against the world. Oh, wow. Calling me the monster. So I do it for the world. It's me against the world. So I do it for the world. I was in the studio, chopping up samples, electricity's off, we sleep with the candles, sleep with our sandals, and leave the doors open, cause when bombs drop, there's no time to grab the handles, write our names on our hands, just to identify when somebody's face is off, it makes them hard to recognize. But Stop. Stop. This is real. Write our names on our hands. Come on, man, I see this practice going on, these babies are being blown apart. This is terrorism being perpetrated against the Palestinian people. Nothing short of it. Nothing short of it. I've cried so many nights when I see these babies suffering. And if the roles were reversed, if Palestine, Philistine had the army, they had the walls, and they were um, segregating and putting the Israeli people in prison, and they were bombing the Israeli pres I mean, persons and children, I would be the first to condemn the Palestinian people. There'll be a few of them that say, oh, it's the Hamas, ISIS, oh my God, Al-Qaeda, Al-Qaeda, the different names. Come on, man. Come on. How many, how many of you are 70 years old from America, 50 years old? Every 10 years, it's a different Islamic terrorist group that is a threat, right? And your government, you didn't buy into the fear, right? You didn't buy into the rhetoric, so then they hit you with something that's terrified. The COVID-19. Come on now. There's no punches on this podcast. That's why I'm not monetized. YouTube will not monetize me. Freedom of speech must be speech that we protect, even if we don't like it, right? So... MC Abdul, you've opened up the fire in me, brother. You put passion back into me. You're, you're a young soldier, and I pray that God, the Most High, Allah, blesses you and your family. Let me tell you that for some people, this world is a reward. This is the world that they get the reward in. They have disbelief, and they don't care about murdering these babies. Hamas, Hamas, Hamas. We won't stop until we destroy Hamas, Hamas. Who in the hell are Hamas? How do you identify them? Do they have an X on their head? 
Come on, man. That's an excuse to still land and bomb innocent people. Let's keep going. Through so many ports, I forgot to mention. I can calculate the distance of the airplane engine. Wow. You think you're from the trenches? Not ease the trenches. Because close the eyes and cover the ears, they block these senses. This war is senseless. They treat us like animals. I'll never understand why they built the fences. I just want my dream of peace to come true. Refugee in my land, nowhere to run to. I keep the hope when there was no sunshine. They cut the water off, so God let it rain sometime. Me against the world. Oh, wow. Wow. So I do it for the world. And the world is watching these babies it's being me murdered. Me against the world. So I do it for the world. Mm, wow, my heart, my tears, my prayers go out for these babies and these folks that are being murdered. By what excuse? MC Abdul, I thank you for shedding light. You said in your other song, um, you can't remember how many wars you've been in. You think four. What is he, 13 to 15 now? If somebody comment in the comments if you know his age. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are it's BS, man. And you know the United Nations is such a joke. I'm so embarrassed. I don't ever want to hear any American say we live in the best country. If you'd like to do that, I would debate you. I don't care if you... You have a PhD, you're a scholar, I don't care if you're a minister, if you're an imam, I don't give a damn. How can Americans sit back, right, watching these babies being blown to bits and pieces while Israel is uh, doing these terrible murders, hospitals, churches, mosques, and America, the big-ass bully, has her ships in the area, could you imagine seeing a little kid getting beat? Bang, bang, get beat up in the streets. And the world wants to come and help, but there's a big bully standing there saying, if you do, you'll be next. That's what America is doing. American politicians suck. They are cowardly. I've never met a more confused, cowardly group of people. Now, if the shoe don't fit, don't try to stuff your damn foot in it, man. How can we, come on, this is not um, GTA Grand Theft Auto or the old games we used to play, the Galaxy game. This is real human bodies, bodies and babies that were created in the likeness of God. When I say the likeness of God, I'm talking about the Ruh, the spirit of God. You can't make another human being with all AI and all the technology and all the things that man thinks he's mastered. God has created unique, as the good book says, the Quran says. He's created unique down to your fingertips, your fingerprints. Come on now. I make dua, I make prayer for peace. Peace. Did you hear this, young brother? He didn't say, I hate the Israelis. He didn't say, I want to kill the Israelis. He didn't say this. What do you think you're doing to children that don't have this kind of fortitude? You're watching their grandmother, their grandfather being murdered. What do you think you're doing to them? Are you driving them to peace? Are you driving them to want revenge? Come on, Israel. You have to do better. God will punish you if you don't change your wicked ways. God will punish you if you don't change your wicked ways. You have exposed yourself to the world. I say again, unapologetically, if Palestine was the one with the army, if Palestine was the one doing this to Israeli children, I'd be the first to say, stop those bastards. This is sickness, and the world is watching. And the fact that the world called for a ceasefire... And bitch-ass America, bitch-ass America, bitch-ass America used her veto power to stop that. Man, shut the hell up. And let me make another note in that too. 
I'll get back to that. I was about to bring the race into it, right? But I will say this. For for black people that have been oppressed in America, America has been wicked historically. What has happened, however, you have taken white devils and removed them from office and sometimes put in black devils thinking you will get a better outcome. If the heart is not good, if the call isn't good, it don't matter the color of the person. MC Abdul, let it rain. I thank you. I've never went 15 minutes into a reaction video. I've never, man, come on now. I'm angry. I'm upset. I'm sad. And I'm sad. My heart is hurt. I've been two days away from my baby girl. She's with family. And the way I miss her, even though I know she's in good care, my heart hurts. Could you imagine having to pick up your baby? And on another closing note, I watched this little girl say, where are the Arabs? Where are the Muslims? Where are the world? Why is nobody helping us? And then one other little girl said, we trust in Allah. We trust in God. Because man will disappoint you. And in closing, I ask that we send a prayer for peace around the world. And if you're hurting with the evil heart, I ask that God remove that evil from you. There are shayateen, there are shayateen, plural, there are multiple devils who serve the devil and they disguise it in the name of God. I don't give a damn if you're a Muslim, a Christian, a Jew, an atheist, a blood, a crip, a biker, whatever. If you kill babies, I don't fool with you. I don't fool with you, and I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. That's a punk move to kill babies. God bless. Signing out.